All right. Earning potential as an inspector. I mean, so obviously I've worked in various different places and that earn different amounts of money in that. But if you're an inspector and tester, you can expect to be on a minimum of £250 a day. And then, I mean, I don't want to give no one no limits in that because you just don't know. But lower end, 250 a day. Higher end, 350 400 a day. But it all depends. If you are truly working for yourself, like, like I'm self-employed, but I still work for a company, yeah? If you truly work for yourself, like you have your own clients, Mrs. Jones, Tom, Harry, all these different people and that, yeah? Blood, the sky's the limit. Yeah, doing inspection and testing. The sky's the limit. You can earn 800 pounds, 1,000 pounds a day. If you've got the right clientele, you've got the right contracts. So the, the sky's the limit. But you need to go self-employed and get out there. You, the, the sky will never be the limit. Yeah, well, the, the, the sky is the limit if you're PAYE self-employed. Um, yeah, the sky is the limit if you are PAYE and employed. Because when you're PAYE and employed, yeah, you put yourself in a box. Yeah, and it's not even a physical box; it's a mental box. You don't like, it, especially if you like, if you was like me. You worked at home, so haven't gained. You was only on a measly 30 grand a year. Everyone around you is on 30 grand a year. I told you a lot plenty of times before. If someone told me when I was doing when I was working for Homes Harringay on 30 grand a year that I could even earn 1,500 a week or um turn over 10 grand a month, I'll say you're a fucking lying blood. So 1,500 a week is six grand a month. Yeah, and obviously 10 grand a month is 2,500 a week. If anyone ever told me those figures, I'll tell you a fucking lie, bro. You're never gonna believe it until you see it for yourself. There's no way I could go back to being PAYE. Never, never, never. I I I, I wouldn't leave, I would even get out of bed for that money there. If I'm going to be PAYE electrician or inspection and testing engineer, whatever, yeah. I'll probably own some measly 130 pound a day. I wouldn't get out of bed for that. I had a shit day today. Yeah, I only done three jobs. Yeah, I had a well, I didn't do the fourth job, but I didn't even want to anyway because I had to come home for something. I done three jobs today and I only earned a hundred and so 65 65. That's 130 plus another 65. That's 195. Plus, obviously, I installed all things here and there. So I definitely earned 200 pounds today. That is a shit day. Yeah. If I had a good day or an average day, it would be 360 pounds a day. Yeah. So put it this way, my shit weeks are like 1,300 a week. That's a shit week. My good weeks are like 1,800 and my extraordinarily good weeks are two grand, which is very rare. I don't really earn two grand a week anymore. Um, but yeah, 1800, between 1600, 1800, that's a healthy week for me. If I'm on, if I'm only on 1200 or 1300 for the week, that's a shit week. For some people, you know, would be love, like, love to earn that sort of money. That, that's shit money to me. But it's because of what I'm used to. Yeah. There's people right now, they will earn a thousand pounds a day. They'll be like, what? Someone earns a thousand pounds a week. That's shit money. So it's all perspective.